Jim McCloskey and the match officials lead the two teams out. Barry Ferguson back after injury. Andrew Konchelskis is left out. Neil McCann alongside Rod Wallace as the match gets underway. It's not quite win or bust for Celtic, but it's not far short. Failure to win for them tonight will leave them with so much to do if they're to catch up. Alan Stubbs playing the ball up to the feet of Viduka. He lost his footing, Craig Moore won it. Now Rod Wallace, Claudio Reyna racing up ahead, waiting in the middle, Neil McCann. It's a good run from Reyna, the cutback aimed at McCann. And Celtic claim for a free kick as the ball was guided back to Jonathan Gould. Not given. Yeah, good decision because he, he wasn't trying to play it back. That's another challenge for the ball missed by Craig Moore. He slipped in, he caught Jackie McNamara. No free kick given. And now Rangers on the move with Wallace and Reyna. It's another good one from Claudio Reyna. Good quick feet. Strong with the cross, though, and it skids away from Giovanni von Brockhorst, Stylian Petrov. That's good play, away from Marina. The pass behind Vikhorst. Mahe in the wide position. Mahe makes his move now. It's for Viduka! Brilliant save by Stefan Kloss. Viduka was sure he'd opened the scoring. It was a golden opportunity. Alberts trying to thread that one through for Van Bronckhorst. It was well cut out by Petrov, who's off and running. Wants it back from Mark Viduka. He's away from Amoruso. Another chance goes a begging for Celtic. Celtic missed their chance at the weekend to close the gap. Uh, Rangers having drawn with St Johnston at Ibrox on Saturday. Rangers lost to him. Celtic lost to him, I should say, on Sunday. Here comes Amoruso. But Vikhorst was there to cut out any trouble. A long ball from Mahi. Craig Moore got the shout from Stefan Kloss and let the ball skip through. That's well won by Jackie McNamara against Van Bronckhorst. Past Barry Ferguson too. And the cutback falls between Maravchik and Viduka. Reina. Van Bronckhorst looking for assistance. Arthur Newman knocks it inside Mialbi. Van Bronckhorst has it. Early ball in. Neil McCann almost there. Neil McCann beaten by Mialbi again. Vigors through the middle for Viduka. That will hold up for him. In goes Viduka. Good challenge by Craig Moore. He got the ball. And play that away there, just is about to pull the trigger. Moravchik beaten in the tackle and hurt in the tackle by Craig Moore. He's writhing on the ground. He was caught by the follow-through in the tackle. Here's another attacking position for Celtic at Stefan Mahe. But uh, that's not even going to hit the corner flag. Here comes Alberts. Touched back by Wallace. Barry Ferguson did well to win that before Stillian Petrov arrived. Arthur Newman plays the ball wide to Giovanni van Bronckhorst. Johan Mialbi with a firm header away. Onto it comes Lorenzo Amoruso. Never shy at having a shot at goal. Much will hinge on these two players, Mark Viduka and Lubo Moravchik, as the second half gets underway. Indeed, as you look back, Celtic's recent record in this fixture, not too impressive. In the 90s, Celtic won only seven times out of 40 meetings between these two. Alan Stubbs up to Mark Viduka. Good control, good turn. Wins a couple of yards on Craig Moore. Holds off Moore's challenge. Still Viduka trying to find room for the shot. Celtic must feel this is a must-win situation. Nine points behind. This is the chance to restore some belief that the title might be possible. But it's Rangers on the attack with Reyna. Neil McCann to Arthur Newman. That's for Rod Wallace. 
McCann involved again. Newman is forward. Here's Newman. And Rob Morris with the chance. A good challenge. So dangerous. That could easily have been a penalty there. Stops coming into the back just as Waltz about to shoot. He's never quiet for long on the touchline, is Dick Advocat. He'd be a bit happier in this second half too because his team have performed a good deal better than that first half. Mark Maduka is away from Lorenzo Amoruso! And there's the goal for Celtic! 19 minutes into the second half. But it won't catch. Yeah, it's offside. Surprised at that, either that must have been handball given there. Got to be handball, I can't believe that. I thought that was good. I, I was sure there was ball. a handball here as he as he got round Amoruso. Off his arm. Yeah, it's off his arm. Front coast. It whistled wide. Luma Moravchik for Mark Maduka. Another chance! And another save by Stefan Kloss. Mialvi stumps and reset all up for Moravchik's corner kick. Saved by Stefan Kloss. They've been indebted to their goalkeeper more than once tonight. The free kick taken short to Luba Moravchik. Mark Maduka lost his footing. It's Moravchik! Mialbi to McNamara. Through the legs of Van Bronckhorst. McNamara beaten this time though by Alberts. Chance for Neil McCann to push forward. Alberts, Reina's on the right hand side in some room. Alberts couldn't work the ball through, but Reina has it now. Alberts. Across came Alan Stubbs. Let's see how Stubbs can accuse him of taking a dive there because he came flying in there and he definitely bundled into it. And again from Neil McCann. It's Reina. And a look, hopefully, to the outside, nobody there. Arthur Newman on his left foot, struck it pretty well. Aimed at Viduka. Throw in given, despite the bodies tumbling on the touchline. Alberts with the header. Rangers have a chance. Van Bronckhorst, Neil McCann makes the angle run. It's Neil McCann for Rangers! It must be a penalty kick! Yes, it is! He was held back by Johan Malby. And Jim McCluskey points to the spot. Definitely pulled back by Johan Malby. No question of it. Giving no complaint at all. He's got a yellow card for his trouble as well. It's George Alberts. And a save by Jonathan Gold. Fantastic save. It. He's chosen the right side. You can see how happy he was with that Dick Abacar. Will be livid with that opportunity for Rangers to snatch the points. They will believe, they have to believe, that they can still catch Rangers in the title race. A let off from Yalby, certainly he's made another mistake. Lost possession. Again, it's McCann. Now Van Bronckhorst. McCann again, he's made a good run. It's Neil McCann! The shot slips wide. And less than five minutes of this match to go. Stoppage time, of course, to be added. It's Van Bronckhorst. It's Rod Wallace. Here's a chance. Rod Wallace! That's the goal! Which surely kills off Celtic's title hopes. And it's Rod Wallace's 14th of the season. All the composure in the world. Brilliant finish. It's 1-0 Rangers. Well, he did fantastically well. Uh, Great to Dick Abacab for leave him and leaving him on the field. He's in a quiet second half, but this is brilliant football because he gets a pass here, he peels wide, the Cooper obviously doesn't get it. You can see how Bahi dives in the challenge here. Field comes out, Bahi's there, trying to support, stop him getting the goal, and he scored it. Watch this little run here. He stays on side, the ball's played. Jonathan Gould rushes out, does really well to beat him and keep his feet and slot it away just inside the post. Brilliant finish, that must be the points to Rangers now. Is there a stroke of magic left in Moravchik? Well, there's a chance Celtic took, Rob. They took off the defender, Mialbi, who was injured. They put on the striker, they went for broke, and it's it backfired on them completely within seconds, losing that goal. Great work from Rod Wallace, having, Rangers having missed a penalty. 
Virgil against Lorenzo Amoruso. In from Moravchik. It's the nightmare scenario for Celtic. Just what they didn't want. The three points. Seem to be heading back to Ibrox, but Mark Virgil has other ideas. And what another brilliant save by Stefan Kloss. They have sealed their title win here last season. And we may well look back and think that the result here at Celtic Park on the 8th of March was the one which finally settled things for this season. A long way to go, but a 12-point gap is a huge one to make up. Rod Wallace is the Rangers hero, the scorer of the only goal, the vital goal, and what a wonderfully 